as you can see we're out of the shop and we are ready for our first startup so for the people that are new and have never ridden a gas-powered bicycle or motorized bicycle whatever you want to refer to it as I would suggest if you live in a subdivision to stay in around your subdivision where there is not a lot of traffic until you get comfortable with the operation of your gas-powered bike I have come out to a not really abandoned bike trail but it is rarely used around where I live so every once in a while I'll come out here and test ride a bike Okay, so allow me to give you a brief description of what to expect and how to get there to expect it, I guess. Now, initially, we're going to pedal the bike three bike lengths. I'm sure by now you've noticed that you cannot move your bicycle freely without applying your clutch lever. Now the bicycle rolls normally and freely. And as soon as I release the clutch lever, that's what engages your engine. But I can't roll the bike now because it's trying to turn the motor over. Now, when the bike initially starts, we're going to go through all those little steps. Try to keep the revs down because everything is brand new. So, I mean, as soon as it starts, don't crank the throttle wide open and rev it super high. Run, run. Just keep it moderate. Let the engine become in its own it's going to be a little chuggy because nothing is broken in same thing with the chain sprockets everything we're going to go for just a casual couple mile an hour ride to let all of our parts meet each other and make sure we don't have any problems because we're on a mechanical test ride so i'll take it from the top and we'll get started I'm going to pedal the bicycle about three to four bike lengths, get a little speed up. Doesn't have to be like an Olympic event, just a little bit of speed. I'll release my clutch lever, which will engage my engine. Now what to expect on my first startup is it's going to be chuggy. It's going to not want to run for the first initial clutch drop. It'll start, but it won't stay running because we're going to have to have our choke up to get our fuel sucked up into our engine is basically what's going on there but it's going to need air after it gets the gas with the choke up it does not get the air and the motor will not stay running so i will stop set my choke lever down eh, about an eighth to a quarter of an inch that will allow the engine to run this with my second attempt it won't run at full power. I just want the engine to start. Casually run at a lower RPM. Like I said, let the parts meet each other. I'm not going to rev it up or anything like that. After it gets a little heat in the engine from running, then I will push the choke lever down a little further. Continue riding. As it gets up to temperature, I'll push it down. It will have its full air. And that way it can make its full power. We're not going to use the full power. That's just a figure of speech right at the moment. You want to break in your bike casually, ride around 5, 8, 10 miles an hour. Once you get going, you get comfortable with it for your first tank of fuel. That allows the chain to wear into the sprockets, the internal parts of your engine to meet each other, and not at a high rate of speed. They want to become family with each other casually, not slam together, if you will. So anyway... I'm going to change cameras, hopefully give you a description on how to get your bike started, and that way you can get out riding and enjoying the bike that you worked so hard for. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to make sure that our fuel valve is on, in line is on, across is off. In case you can't read the little letters, it does say off and on on the fuel valve. But that's a simple way to know that your fuel is on if it's in line with the filter. I'm going to pull my choke all the way to the top. Just like so. Now I'm going to get on the bike and pedal my three bike links. And 
and as I said before now release the clutch and the motor will engage see she tried to start now stop Step off the bike, set my choke down about a quarter of an inch. Oh, I messed up the camera on that one, didn't I? But I will move my choke lever down from the top about a quarter of an inch. And now we'll repeat. Now she should have enough air going through the carburetor to keep it running this time. So I'll get a little head of steam. And once again, release my clutch. Every time I stop, I have to squeeze and apply the clutch or the bike will keep going. So, once again. See, it's a little chuggy, but that's okay. We just want to casually run, let our motor... Burn the excess oil out from the build. Get up the temperature. Okay, now that I've had a couple seconds of riding, I'm going to do this stroke all the way down. Luckily today, it's an 80 something degree day, so we should do that a little early. Now every time you stop, stop sign, or any time at all, you have to pedal to get your weight moving. The little motors do not like to pull you from a dead stop, but prematurely where it's come out. So I'll get my weight moving. Give it a little throttle. Release my clutch slowly. Now I'm right. Now I keep it around an eighth of the throttle or so for its initial ride. That's plenty of speed to let my motor break in lightly. Again, I'll pedal because I slowed down to a pretty slow speed to turn around. Apply my throttle again, release my clutch slowly. All the while, I'm pedaling to help it out. It's an easy pedal. And now I'm back rolling.
by myself. I have to apply the clutch on this particular coaster brake bike. I pedal backwards after squeezing the clutch, and that applies the brakes, and that's how you stop. But other than that, mission accomplished. It's running good. Don't worry if you hear any little bitty rattles in the very beginning. It takes about a full tank of fuel of casual riding to get all the parts broke in to where they're going to be. And it usually smooths out. The motor picks up a little horsepower because the ring succeeded with the cylinder. And uh, you're off and riding. Shut it off. I push my kill button on my throttle. After a little break-in time, you're good to go. You're off and riding. Okay, that concludes. Like I said before, if you're brand new to this, if you could find an abandoned parking lot, a non-used bike trail, or just anywhere there is no big amounts of traffic until you learn and understand and get comfortable with operating your motorized bicycle, before you head out into the big world of traffic. All right, well, I hope you ride safe with your new bike. I hope this video helped someone get their bike together that was having problems. Hopefully throughout the whole video, maybe you saw something that uh, needed corrected on your bike or something you just didn't quite understand and now you understand it. That's why I do these. I want everybody to enjoy the money they spent on their motorized bike and riding your motorized bike because it is way better than pedaling in the hot sun all right everybody take it easy out there and i will see you folks later i almost forgot the video is not official so i take the bike down the street can't be from the box to the street without putting it on the street Thank you.